Hey guys, today is yet another episode covering the reveal of the 7 2023 Dodge Buzz models. Last week we had the 2023 Dodge Charger King Daytona, and this week it's the 2023 Dodge Challenger Black Ghost, just announced a couple hours ago. So we'll dive deep on this model and cover everything you need to know, we'll look ahead at the last remaining Buzz model, and we'll also go in depth on the history of the Black Ghost. So let's get into it. Just as a recap, 2023 marks the end of the Dodge Charger and Challenger on the current platform, so Dodge has plans to release 7 Last Call Special Edition models. We've already seen the Dodge Challenger Shakedown, Dodge Charger Super B, Dodge Challenger and Charger Scat Pack Swinger, and the Dodge Charger King Daytona, so the Black Ghost represents the 6th of the 7 models. I'll talk about the current Black Ghost first, and then we'll get into the history of the original 1970 Black Ghost, since it certainly deserves some attention. Once again, Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskis didn't say anything about the relevance and history of the Black Ghost, instead saying, quote, There are so many legendary muscle cars in Dodge brand history, it was hard to choose the seven vehicles we wanted to pay homage to with our last call lineup. But the Black Ghost was an easy pick. The 2023 Dodge Challenger Black Ghost is the prelude to what we're going to unveil with our seventh and final special edition model, end quote. Just like the original Black Ghost, this gets pitch black paint. The Black Ghost is limited to only 300 units produced, just like the King Daytona. This is based on the Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Widebody, so it has the 6.2 liter high output supercharged Hemi V8 under the hood, with 807 horsepower and 717 pound feet of torque. 0 to 60 times for the model are around 3.5 seconds, with a quarter mile around 11 seconds or under, and it also has a 3.09 to 1 rear axle ratio. As for the features of the Black Ghost, to fit under the wider body, there are 20 by 11 inch satin carbon warp seed wheels with paint matching black six piston Brembos beneath them. Dodge has added white rear fender graphics, and of course, there's a black gator skin roof vinyl to try to mimic the original Black Ghost. Up front on the fascia is bright Dodge lettering, along with the Challenger script grill, fender, and spoiler badges. The SRT badge is finished in midnight metallic. Mopar has also added a hood pin kit and bright fuel filler door for retro touches. Unfortunately, there aren't any interior pictures available yet from what I can see, but the seats have Laguna Leather and Alcantara, and that continues to the door bolsters. So it seems like these seats will be a little bit of an improvement over the King Daytona seats, which were just Alcantara. Matching the seats, the steering wheel is finished in Alcantara as well, and there's a red SRT logo in the middle, and to show off what you have, there is a Black Ghost instrument panel badge. Other features include real carbon fiber bezels and a Dynamica suede headliner. I really do like this model and surely will be one of the most coveted and rare Hellcats to ever exist. The Black Ghost name and heritage is also awesome and the car looks great with the black and satin chrome combination. And once again, I'm really happy Dodge is uncovering a really cool story that many people might not know about. To get your hands on one of these, Dodge will build them at random and ship them to the top dealerships around the country to be sold on a first come first serve basis. Potential buyers will be able to see where these vehicles are headed on Dodge Garage, but once they hit the dealerships, it will be a mad scramble to buy some of these limited edition models. As for the upcoming Buzz models, there's only one left. The very last model will debut at the 2022 SEMA show in Las Vegas. That's the vehicle that I've been talking about in my 2023 final Hellcat videos, which could feature close to or over 900 horsepower, could have features like the largest supercharger of any modern Challenger, and could also run on some ethanol blends such as E85. The license plate does say one fast 29, so could the 29 mean a 2.9 liter blower? We'll have to wait and see. Now, before we end off the video, like I said, I do want to look at a fairly in-depth history of the original Black Ghost. This was a black 1970 Dodge Challenger with both the RT and SE or Special Edition packages, along with the 426 Hemi engine, Super Track Pack, 4-speed manual transmission, floor-mounted Hearst pistol grip shifter, and a sure grip Dana 60 with 4.1 gears. It was also recognizable with its black gator grain vinyl top. This was a legendary car in the Detroit street racing scene, known to spontaneously appear, destroy the competition, and then leave without a trace. The Black Ghost details were unknown to mostly everyone at first, except for Godfrey Qualls and his friend Curtis Neal. Qualls was the owner, but he was also a Detroit police officer and a former paratrooper in the Army's 82nd Airborne Division, so these friends had to keep their street racing a secret. That's why it would randomly appear, race and win, and disappear indefinitely, with Qualls in the driver's seat and Neil riding beside him. Here's a short clip of Neil talking during a documentary that Haggerty did on this thing. 
it was beating everything. Best Chevelles, 396, 375. Those were nothing for this car. He also said they ran the drag races on Stucker Street since it was an industrial area with no residential interference, and they could even do full quarter mile races where the police wouldn't bother you. The two men thought the street racing was better than other risky and dangerous activities anyways, like dealing drugs or robberies, but Qual's son Gregory did say many years later, quote, I'm pretty sure he'd have lost his job if his superiors found out. They wouldn't take kindly to that, end quote. Interestingly, Gregory didn't know anything about the antics until years later, although he was always in awe of the car, especially as a kid. Okay, we're driving a 1970 Challenger RTSE. What it feels like to drive, it's kind of hard to explain. Did you get like an adrenaline rush? You feel like you're part of the machine. Speaking more on the car, Qual's brother Cleo Liss got a black 1968 Dodge Charger with a white stripe. Godfrey had urged Cleo to get the Hemi, but he chose the cheaper 440, so that's why Godfrey wanted to one-up his bro and get the 426. It was built at the Hamtramck plant and purchased from Raynal Brothers Dodge on Chalmers Avenue in Detroit. As mentioned, it was a Hemi 4-speed car with the A34 Super Track Pack with 4.1 gears, J45 hood pins, S83 rim blow steering wheel, R35 multiplex AM FM stereo, V1G gator grain vinyl roof, and the V9W white bumblebee stripe. Along with a host of other options, the total came to nearly $5,300 US, and that would be around $43,000 in today's US dollars. There are a few interesting notes. The gator grain top was a mistake by Dodge, as Qualls just wanted plain vinyl, but he reluctantly kept it anyways. The car was also due to have a shaker hood, but it was delivered without it, so Qualls threatened to sue the dealer or Chrysler or both, and they decided to give him the hood assembly, but he never had it installed. There were only 23 426 Hemi powered 4 speed RT SE Challengers that were sold in 1970, and this is surely the only one with all these specific options. According to his son, the car would have been ordered after Godfrey entered the police academy, but before he became a full officer. In 2008, Godfrey would overcome prostate cancer, but it returned aggressively in 2015. While in the hospital, he asked his son to bring him an envelope he had hidden, where Gregory found 1970 Challenger brochures, original order sheets, receipts, build sheet, registrations, and the title. Godfrey signed it away to his son right there, and sadly passed away soon after on Christmas Eve in 2015. Gregory considered his dad to be his hero, but at first he didn't want the car as it was a reminder of his father's death. But in interviews he did say, quote, he said he wanted me to have the car, just not to get rid of it. He just smiled, and that was the last time I saw him happy." End quote. So Gregory decided to set out to get the car back on the road. His father had put more than 45,000 miles on it just from the street racing alone, but it still had the numbers matching drivetrain. After new fluids, belts, hoses, tires, radiator, clutch fan, master cylinder, and rebuilt brake booster and carburetor, the Black Ghost was back on the road in July of 2017. It was officially unveiled at the 2017 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, and then went on to the 2018 Chrysler Nationals, where it won the Historic Vehicle Association's National Automotive Heritage Award. In 2020, it earned a spot on the National Historic Vehicle Register, and to this day, Gregory still keeps it close within the family. And Haggerty even did a full documentary on this thing. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and what do you guys think of this Black Ghost Buzz model? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.